I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fake or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the gang I'm talking relationships Worth more than money yeah. Yes, sir. We back. Relationships worth more than money podcast. I'm Tweezy. Who I got across from me? Young Chris the Artist, man. Young Chris the Artist, bro. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> long time coming. I remember when I first started it, you was like, bro, I need to get on there. I need to get on there. I need to get on there. Mm-hmm. And now look who, look where we at. Hey, look we here. We, at. we, we here, here, man. man. But um, for all the relatives out there, you know, um, tell the people who you are, where you from. And how this whole thing get, got started with you? Hey man, say man. So, uh, from Northeast DC, yeah. um, been doing music for like over like little ten years now, man. Just being in the studio with my uncle Troy Williams, and like he didn't produce for a lot of greats, Biggie Smalls, Heavy D, Tony Braxton, Trey Songz, just to name a few. And um, just being there watching him, mm-hmm. he was an engineer. Just being there, sitting in the studio, like. Uh, what this do? What that do? What yeah. what this volume button do? Or oh, let me touch this. Let me let me do that. Pause. But yeah. um, yeah, just being there watching him, man, and then being around other engineers and being around other artists, and just I just grew a love into it, a liking to it, and it's something I'm doing every day now. Okay, all right. Um, you said you said you've been doing it for ten years. Yeah. What what um, like what artists like like inspired you to 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 stick with the with the music. Cause not only do you not only do you rap, but you actually do engineer stuff too. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Um, listening to Eminem and Biggie Smalls, honestly. Yeah. Um, just just watching old YouTube videos of just the come up, and you know what it took to get here. Mm-hmm. So, I'm take kind of taking those same steps. Of, you know, booking show, booking my own shows, doing videos. You know. It's like you say, it's a math to it. It's a it's a strategy. You gotta you gotta move right. You gotta have the right people around you. Right. Um just just being in that right headspace. You can't be negative. You right. can't have them negative people around you. Yeah. That's a fact, man. And um shit, man. I met you what? Three was it two, three years ago? Might have been, been longer than that. It might have been like twenty eighteen. Yeah. At the at the stew. Yeah. At the stew in, in Burke. Yeah, um, it's crazy, man. It's like a lot of people that I've met out there, you know what I mean? I'm still good relationships with. Um, walk me walk me down the childhood era, though. Like, how you, how was you doing your childhood? Like, what was your thing? Like, what was your hobbies? Um, during my childhood, I wasn't... I've been doing music since I was nine. So anything before that... I was like a regular kid, just outside with the homies. Um, mm-hmm. outside, cool and chilling, going to school, doing what a kid do, yeah. just playing around. Um, never really had like, like no hardships or nothing like that. With like, you know, some people be like, "Oh, my dad or my mom was this." And I had both parents, so I I would never get up here and fake and be like, "Man, my life was hard." Like right. I had to get it out. Nah, it right. wasn't none of that. Like, you know, I still had to make my own money certain ways and things like that. But mm-hmm. it was never like no hardships or nothing like that. What well, uh, what high school you went to? I went to like five different high schools. For real? Yeah. Give me one of them. <laughs> Shit. Shit, I went to Spengon. Okay. Um, I went to Eastern, H.D. Wilson. Man, you um, went around the whole dang old city. Yeah, man. Um, It came to a point where I didn't start to like, I didn't like school. Mm-hmm. Um, School ain't for everybody. Mm-hmm. So I already knew I, I didn't want to go to college. Right. I knew that, I, nigga, I just went through 12 years of high school. Right. End up getting my GD. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, nigga, I don't want to go to college. Right. Like, I know it sounds crazy to say, but college ain't for everybody. Nah. It's it's uh what I learned, man, going to college after I after I got out the Marines. Um it's like a systematic thing. Like you you don't need college. Right. But I will say the 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 networking, if you're networking in college, that's the key. Right. You know what I mean? Because anybody can be book smart. But actually getting through and networking with those people that know this person and know this person and know the area that you're in, I think that's the most important part of college is meeting the people that's in the classroom with you. You know what I mean? But um, all right, we went through the co- we went through the, the the high school. You ain't want to do school. You wanted to go, you know, go smack in with the music. Um, you said Eminem and Big, yeah. You know what's crazy, man? A lot of people don't never put Eminem in their joint. I I do. I mean, but that's just because I'm... That's because 
I'm from Detroit, but like yeah, I, I really do, know. I really do rock with Eminem, and they be like, man, don't nobody be riding around like put that M on. I'm like, so <laughs> MA4 like riding around like you know what I mean? But he got he got worldwide smashes. Exactly. You worrying about local stuff. Exactly. You know, what I mean? you know, you know they they, they worried about what they hear on Eight Mile. Right. Y'all seen the real love gear that I've been wearing in some of the episodes? Uh, my guy Big John over at Real Love Fam then lace me with some good promo code for you guys to go and get your own merch because only you can love what you love as much as you love it. Here at Rare Love, hit the link in the promo code. It's RWMTM Love. RWMTM Love. You get $5 off on the whole website with that uh, code. Hit that special code, RWMTM Love. And there will be a special collaboration merch with rwmtm and rare love connected so the logo is going to be connected stay tuned for that and uh yeah it's gonna be fire all all the mom spaghetti mm, yeah. link, uh, man it's it's so much more to it. if you actually sit and run through his catalog and Crazy. sit there bro it's so you be like damn this m yeah m you m can talk like this yeah spend don't let him be on somebody track because you're gonna really talk <laughs> oh, it's crazy. over with it's he over really with. gonna talk crazy what um you got you got M and Big. What what other artists kind of like inspired you till now? Cause you know how I always tell people, um, I don't got a top five because it's it's too many, too many that I I love. You know what I mean? Like far as producers, artists, all of that. So it's like I don't have like a favorite one person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, M and Big was like the top two, like industry wise. Yeah. But I listen to like a lot of underground, like Hobson. Mm-hmm. Joiner Lucas, yeah. um, a dude named Shizzy Six from out of New York. Um, just I a lot of un- yeah, crazy cool. Yeah. A lot of underground people, man, that haven't touched that mainstream platform. Cause them, to me, them some of the best artists. Yeah, you got artists out here that's way better than Drake, mm-hmm. way better than the industry artists we that we hear today. But you know, everybody don't want that industry shine. Hold on, bro. You said better than Drake, man. You got artists better than Drake, man. You just you got you got to <laughs> search. You got to look for them. You gotta, you gotta be better than Drake, as in lyrics, or better than Drake, as in lyrics. Uh, just artistry all around. You have them artists. I don't know about that, bro. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know you about gotta, that. Bro. You gotta search. I don't know, but I'm, I'm the one that do it. Like I literally go out and look for new artists that's dope, and and I tell people, um, like I was just talking to Ro, like I'm like, bro, do you know that dude Shabuzi? Like he fired. Like I didn't know he was from here, out of VA. That, and that's what I'm saying. Like, we'll bridge at that. Bruh, he's fire. And um, Shabuzi from VA, the black dude? With the country song? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. From what crazy. I was reading, he from out of, he from out of Woodbridge. Yeah. yeah. I know that other dude that um, Brent Fire signed, that Million Dollar Baby song, he from Woodbridge too. He is? Yeah. Brent Fire? No, Brent Fire's from Maryland. But, right. But the guy he just signed, I forgot, I don't know his name. But he got that song. What's his name? Let me oh, yeah, million, I'm a, I'm a million dollar baby, top dog. Of that. Let me look it up. Yeah, Let me look it up. Booze, yeah, he from out of Woodbridge. Cause what it's is, him and like two other artists that just hit Billboard. Tommy Richmond. Tommy Richmond. Now, I ain't never been the same thing. That drum. Oh, I'm gonna have to tap in. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah, to see that's what's going fire. on. But it, when I heard it, and then when I found out Brent Fires signed him, mm-hmm. I said it makes sense because Brent, Brent, and Brent, that. Brent got that bag too. Yeah. He didn't just eat, well a couple and, years ago. What he signed for what? Uh, some mills crazy, got- but the thing is, people don't know he was in Sonder first. That group it was called Sonder before he became Brent Fires by himself, a solo artist. He was with a group. Okay, so you go back and listen to Sonder. That joint fire, just like how you saying. Like that's why I say I I go back and listen to other artists, man. But it's like it's so many. But it's once it catches the radar, I do go back and like. Fuck. Now that you said Shabuzi from here, because I'm like I was just telling him like, bro, that song uh, Tipsy is fire. Mm-hmm. But then I also seen him on um, Beyonce joint, and I'm like, oh, dude got traction. He got motion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, man. What, uh, I, last time I seen you, you was down in was South by Southwest, right? Mm-hmm. You was going on your way. I remember you was like, yeah, I'm about to go to South by Southwest. How is it that you can maneuver like that, bro? Like, you moving, and you moving <laughs> solo. You ain't moving with a bunch of people. You moving... Um, it came to a point where like I was making so much music and it was just sitting on my hard drive 
Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, what am I doing? Like, what do I need to do? Because something's not right. I don't want to just keep making music and making music and not doing nothing with it. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I know a couple people. I need to start traveling. Mm-hmm. This is what's going on. So, you know, I still work, bro. So it's like, like I just told you, I'm working 16 hours shifts here and there, you know, to pay for these trips and things like that. So yeah. just, and I don't need a group of people to go with me. Mm-hmm. I might bring one or two people, but if they can't go, it is what it is. I'm going by myself. Let's right. go. We about to rock out. So just having a couple, you know, little connection here and there, I'm like, oh, what's going on? Like this popping off, this yeah. concert going on, yeah. I'm on the way. Right. Get me on somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I don't like I said, I don't need a lot of people, man. And you know what's the the most important part that you said, bro? You working still. It's okay to work. Bro, I'm you know telling you. It's okay to work 16 hours, whatever you gotta do to get to your dream and your goal of what you wanna do. And I think the youngest out there, bro, definitely need to hear this because it's like they think they just gonna do music. I mean, if you got it like that where your parents hold you down, but it's only gonna be a, a matter of time where your parents are gonna be like, hey, look, bro, this you been yeah. doing this for a minute. I ain't seen no motion, man. What we doing? You mm-hmm. know what I mean, because I I think as a, as a parent myself, I'm gonna push my kids to to be great. But if this is something that they love to do and they want to do, all right, let me let me try to help you. But if it ain't going nowhere, we need to have some other plans. Facts. You know facts. what I mean? Because everybody can't just do Plan A and stick to Plan A. You gotta mm-hmm. have B and the C. You know what I mean? Just in case, because them backups can be the the forefront of the Plan A. They can put you to plan A. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Yeah. And I think um, the youngest definitely needed to hear that, man, because we as a community, it's always something. You know what I mean? It's always yeah. something. It's, it's either somebody hating on us, somebody mad at us for some reason, we don't know why, somebody beefing with us for nothing, and, and we don't have the, the, the resources that other, you know, ethnicities have. And I Absolutely. Think too, man. Just go out there and work, grind hard, and get your get your chicken, man. Get your Facts. chicken. This song that you worked on, man. Um, Road running. Road running. How long ago did you do that? That was made like last year in June, twenty twenty three. Um, it was it's crazy because it was one of my least favorite songs. Yeah. Like I was pushing some whole other shit, and right. it was like that was one of my least favorite songs. But being down south by Southwest, I seen a nigga out there. My nigga C four. Shout out to C four. Camera yeah. dude, real cool dude. Um, it was like 10.30 in the morning. I'm walking around downtown, South by Southwest or whatever. And I seen him out there with the mic drop. I said, mm-hmm. well, you know how much for the mic drop? He was like 25. 25 what? 2500? Yeah. He's like, no, nah, $25, bro. I said, all right, bet. So he was like, what song are you going to do? So I'm running through. I was like, fuck it. Let me do road running. Something different. Yeah. So I did road running. And he was like, damn, this shit hard, bro. Like, He was like, no, I'm going to tell you if your shit ass, bro. He yeah. was like, no, this, this shit one of the ones. He was like, I'm going to have this shit cooked up in like a week. So we dropped it. I started promoting it, posting it, doing the uh, Instagram ads, all that shit. It started yeah. getting that traction. It started moving. So I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, one of the least favorite songs? Like, yeah. this shit all right. This shit doing all right. So boom, I started doing that, getting the traction for it, getting all these new followers, just linking up with other artists. Um, went down, Found a uh, thing on Instagram called We Fam ATL. Mm-hmm. That's the shit I've been posting for like the right. past two weeks now. Found them, flew out of Atlanta. Went by myself, flew out of Atlanta, did that, came back, started gaining attraction from that, gaining right. more artists from that. I'm like, damn, they're like, this shit might be, this shit might be it. Yeah. I just gotta keep pushing. I gotta come up with a great marketing plan for it. Cause mm-hmm. I, I see it. I see it. You know, sometimes everybody like, don't look for the hit. Mm-hmm. The hit gonna come. I feel like this is that one. Like I can I, I see it, bro. Yeah. I truly do see it. So with that, bro, I got two things about that. <clears throat> Was that the song that you was trying to you was trying to record? Remember when your your drink kept crashing and you was trying to figure out why it wasn't playing audio? Yeah, that was one. That was one of the ones. That yeah. whole day I was trying to record because yeah. I was finishing up the rest of my album, mm-hmm. and that was one of the joints I was trying to call. I'm like, damn, this Pro Tools shit is like really pissing me off. You know, yeah. you know, I call you for everything, right, any right, anything, right, right? And I pick up. <clears throat> I every pick time, up, every time, and I appreciate you yeah. for that, bro. You up. you help me out a lot. I'm like tweez. What's this? You be like, do this, do that. You be all right. That shit work yeah. every time. Yeah. So look, the second thing, um, you talked about ads, bro. Ads. What are you doing in your ads? Because I swear, man, these people, they got to hear this because we are independent. You know what I mean? So it's like, what are you doing to get yourself ahead of the curve, to get yourself in front of the people, to get traction? Like, what you do? How do you do your ads? 
um, for one, it's all about you got to like they said, you got to spend money to make money. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all about getting that exposure for my ads. You know, I just set it up on Instagram. Just you know, I might set it up for like five days. I might put like twenty, twenty five dollars down on it for five days. That's when the traction start coming. And you get more plays. The reels start going up. You get more followers. Yeah, all that shit start happening. And it's like you see, you see a real, a real. Results. You see real results behind mm-hmm. it. Other than you got artists who be paying for like plays and shit like that. Now, with the ads, you still paying for plays and shit, but these is authentic. Right. These, you know, that shit go everywhere. Right. You, know, you just be scrolling through the stories and that shit just pop up. Mm-hmm. People click it. You on. That's how that shit work. Okay. Now, you saying you only pay twenty twenty five, so that's what, like $5 a, a, a day? Yeah. And then once you get the traction, do you put more into it? Mm-hmm. And then so I might, I might let it go for the five days, let it run all the way out, and then I might jump into like fifteen days. But I'm gonna do like ten dollars a day, something like that, for fifteen yeah. days, and I just keep it going, bro. Like I said, I see it, bro. So then ten for one fifty. You know what I mean, and just keep, you days. just keep going, bro. Like I'm, I'm about to reset it again today. Like it ran out. Uh, what's today? Wednesday it ran out Sunday. Yeah. So I'm about to put like another fifty in it right today. How, right on now, the day. how long? How long do you normally? Campaign, the 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 uh the ads. How long do you do it for for each one? Um, the longest I did is like ten days. Ten days. Yeah. Okay. And then with that, it's giving you traction. And it's, and do you do you set a certain target market, or do you set like your you set like the the area? Do you, do you push DC, or do you go further? Nah. I, so when I set it up, it'd be like create your own audience. I like pick like certain cities, maybe like Texas, mm-hmm. LA, um. Oklahoma, shit like that. Certain places where I know it's a big music market. Right. Or I might just let Instagram pick the targeted audience for me. That's mm-hmm. been working too. But um, sometimes when you try to customize it, it don't work. It don't do as yeah, much. Yeah, it don't do as much. That. So sometimes the automatic be all right. Yeah, because I think for us or for me, I might put too many cities. So when you put too many cities, it might only hit two out of the mm-hmm. 10 cities you put. So yeah, that that Instagram um suggested probably a definitely work definitely for. works. What um what else you got coming, man? Um, shit, um, we're working towards like trying to get on stage for A three C. Um, I met a guy at my job, super plugged in with Universal. He got a homeboy that do uh like PR work for Universal. He's mm-hmm. he's well connected with A three C. So we're trying to get in get in good with that. Um, they shooting in uh, October. They doing it in October. Yeah. Is it at the convention center or is that the um? What's the name of that spot? The gathering spot. That I'm not sure. Okay. And then it's another. It's like another music festival coming up in September. Um, in Texas. Yeah. I forgot the name of it. Um, but yeah, bro, just trying to work. I'm pushing this single right now. Like, if it take me a year to push this single, that's that's just what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, just just trying to get more get more known, bro. Trying to get this exposure going. It's it's another festival, man. Rose shooting a festival out here. Um, Park Fest. Park Look, Fest. July, July 13th. So man, pull up, pull up on um, network. I'm there. Definitely. I'm I'm there yeah. for show for show. Cause matter of fact, I'm going to Richmond on like June first or June 2nd. It's a festival going on out there. Yeah. Um, I'm shoot I'm doing that. I'm gonna do another mic drop out there. Um, for them people that's sleeping on these mic drops, the mic drops, the mic drops help. Yeah, the mic drops you help, and whether I, you're doing the same song or not. Yeah, and it don't matter who, what platform it is, because I think um, a lot of people start hating because like it's like, oh, I was the first. Yeah, you the first. You the first doing it. You might have the most money to 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 back it, but at the end of the day, bro, it's putting other artists on. You know what I'm saying? That's a joint right there called Charged Up Fest. Okay, May 30th to June 2nd. You heard about that? Yeah, this thing got. So I think it's something they do like every year. But yeah. I'm talking to the people that's doing the mic drop out there because usually they only do their mic drops in Atlanta and like uh, Pennsylvania. But yeah. they're going to be there. So he told me, dude just told me, pull up. Let's do the mic drop. Because he, he got a dude on there that's going crazy right now. Yeah. He did the mic drop last year. And that joint picking up traction now. Yeah. So I don't know what it is, what kicked off for that nigga, but that shit working for bro. But you know the thing too, dog? Like you, you, you doing <laughs> festivals... Not only are you doing festivals, you're 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 putting yourself out there. Like artists, you have to put yourself out there. You have to go to these festivals. 
You got to build connections, build relationships, because those relationships can get you into the door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And with that, I hopefully before July 13th, you will be able to meet Heaven, because Heaven going to be performing there. You know what I'm saying? For real? Yeah, she's oh, yeah. performing at it's, the, at it's the park fest. But hopefully... We get you with Roe and, and, and y'all will get something, man, because yeah, she's super her her pen game is crazy. Bro, I, I already know. I be crazy. sitting there on the gram scrolling, watching what's going on, man. When she be posting recording with you, I'm like, okay, you need stupid tweets. Yeah. I ain't get no invitation, but it's cool. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, she she, yeah, she she be working, man. Like she hit me up and like, hey, um, I got a song or two I wrote. Can I come? I'm like, pull up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Pull up on me. I mean, because I, I told her, I said, yo, you have it. You have you have it. Just just keep working. Keep working. Keep yeah. working. And it, it literally only take one. That's all it takes. It, it literally yeah. take one song. Like, whether you be a one-hit wonder for the rest of your life, it take one. That's all it takes to get you, get you up out of here. You. Yeah. For, for the, the rest, rest of your life. For the rest of your life. And, you know. All right. Next up, man. Um, I ain't talked about it. What you think about that, that Kendrick and Drake joint? You know, that should be for publicity, bro. Like, um, I didn't super get into it. So, yeah. like, if you start naming, like, the diss songs, I only heard a few that came on the radio. But right. I don't pay attention to shit like that. Because, you know, I take it as, like, and it may sound selfish, but it don't help me. Yeah. I'm on some shit now, bro. Like, if it don't help me, I don't care about it. Yeah. Like, that's that's just how I feel about shit now. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I, um... I got, I got, and I got stuck in it, man. Cause that BBL Drizzy is crazy, dog, <laughs> bro. It's a few that's crazy, bro. You know I mean? But that BBL Drizzy dog is definitely uh, is one of the ones. And here's the crazy part: it's AI that's doing the singing part. Like he typed it in and had him sing this, bro. That's why if you if you go on the gram and you type in BBL Drizzy, you're gonna see a bunch of people. With that same joint that's not Metro. It's because you can go on this site, this AI site, and put it in. You get what I'm saying? And they'll <laughs> sing it. You can put in, hey, young Chris and Tweez in a in the in the studio with rolling, and they'll sing that shit. However way you want it. Like I want them to sing it in the Detroit Motown feel. Da 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 da. Right? This AI getting crazy, man. And I and I always said, like, I'm cool with it, but it got it has to be they need to put a like a a, a a limit or something on it, bro, because it's gonna get it's gonna get out of hand. So how you feel about that shit he did with the AI Tupac and Snoop? I thought it was creative. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was creative, but people was like, "Well, why you just ain't go get? The, why you just ain't go get Snoop? Because Snoop wasn't gonna get on that song. He from Absolutely. the West. Like he not gonna ever like go against the West. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And at the same time, I thought it was I thought it was creative for the simple fact he wrote those verses for them to rap. You know what I'm saying, um, and it's it's I mean it's it's a new way of I mean it's the same thing like if you got a battle rap and somebody using props, yeah, like DNA and them used to be like uh, in doctors little all outfits, that shit, yeah. And, you know what I mean, doing all that crazy stuff. So I think um, it was cool, man. I I love the fact that um, we I say we needed it, and the reason why I say we needed it is because. I don't know if you check like sales and stuff like that, but hip hop was declining at an all time. Absolutely. High. And it was getting bad, bro. So they needed something to spark it. Like you said, it might have been publicity. Hey, cool. Yeah. But guess what? Who are the talk of the town? Not like us is number one. Shit, Kendra got th- all like three of his joints is is, is in the mm-hmm. top ten. Not like us, Euphoria, and like that from, you know, Metro Bo- Booming and uh Future. So yeah, bro. And then Drake got, I think Family Matters is in the top 10. You know what I mean? But that's great because that's the that's the hot 100. That ain't even just hip hop. That's everybody. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's cool, man. I actually like it, man. But what um, what's what's some artists out here, man, in, in the DMV that you that you rock with, that you like, um, especially from D.C., man, because D.C. got some dope artists. I just I just um. I hate that everybody just think they rap that da 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 da. Yeah, punching nah. in like everybody's not like that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That flow is is that's just one of many. Um, shit, my nigga gifted, who I be with a lot. Um, my nigga PTV, 
Peanut, um, shit, my nigga Chicago, Santana. Um, you know what's crazy? That was my fucking, my uh, neighbor, bro, when I lived at Upper Marlboro. Oh, okay. And oh, okay. We, you 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 know what's going on, yeah, man. Yeah, so like, I, but, but then he was just like, yo, bro, I got a studio. You mm-hmm. should pull up. Pull up to it. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll pull up one day or whatever. And we always met and, cr- and crossing in the, in the hallway. Yeah. But I didn't know he was an actual singer. You know what I mean? I didn't know he was an artist. Like, I was just like, mm-hmm. but when I seen him at the studio, I was like, oh, what was good? Like, you know what I mean? And then he just took off. And it's crazy, bro, because that was two years ago. You know what I mean? And now he, you know what I mean? He doing his thing. He just won a whammy. Shout out to uh, shout out to him for that. But uh, yeah, who else? Um, Shit. Nigga, Young Manny. Where they from? He from Merlin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Man, that's a couple of people. I listen to a lot of people from the DMV, but I also be tapping into other artists from like Memphis and shit like that. Like I, little artist named, uh, an artist named Glockiana, who I claim my, claim as my niece or whatever yeah. the case may be, you know. Um, she going hard in Memphis. She un- underneath uh, Duke Deuce. Okay. She yeah. going going crazy, going stupid. 17 years old, straight out of Memphis. Um, My nigga, Explicit Hunt from out of Nashville. Um, just I be tapping into a lot of artists from around just around this around the world, you bro. You know who got some some artists, bro, that I I think um people need to start working more with. Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore yeah. definitely got some fire artists. Yeah, I went to this event. Um, shout out to my homegirl Honey Electric, but uh, she did this event with Free Space. Shout out to Free Space, bro. It was a bunch of artists that were all was from the, like the Baltimore area and like they were they were dope like it was yeah. brothers I swear yeah. the spot was probably about two of these rooms and they were performing but it was people in that joint and going you know crazy I mean? yeah and I'm like oh the energy is right man you know it, I mean? it be them small spots like yeah. that where you just need to go tap in to see who's who and wh- wh- who got what going on man yeah. Um, it's not always about who got the biggest name in the DMV shit I don't care about like mm-hmm. I'm trying to tap in with whoever's trying to work, whoever's trying to build something, who's trying to make something out of nothing. Like, yeah. And that's just what it is. And, like, you know, I'm trying to work with like-minded people who understand the business side of music as well. Because, you know, you got artists who just drop a, a hundred songs and be like, so what I do now? Right. They don't know to register through BMI or ASCAP or what you put me on to, song trust, shit like yeah. that. So I yeah. say it in every interview. You don't know how many artists I meet. And I be like, you got BMI or ASCAP? They're like, no, nah, I got distro kid. I don't yeah. need none of that. And I'd be, like, be like, that's only one stream. Yeah, bro. And it's like, you don't, you don't even understand. Like, so, you know, I get to help other artists be like, well, always do your own research, but this is what BMI and ASCAP does. Mm-hmm. This is what Sound Trust does. This is what uh, Sound Exchange does. Yeah. So, you know, you got, like, I, I seen an interview, nigga said, it's seven different types of royalties, seven different types the of Russell. incomes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should have all that coming in. And I'm like, damn, it was some shit he was teaching me I ain't know about. Yeah. So it's like, it's always a learning process. Nobody knows everything. Right. And I hate those people who feel like they do. And you get around and be like, damn, you really don't know shit. Yeah. And that's what that's what my thing is, bro. It's like, I try to pass the info. Like, if you don't know it here, this is what you need. This is what I know you need. But like you said, go, go research your own. But this is what... But the only thing is, though, is like... These youngers be trying to come back what you telling them. Oh, what's they said this? What's they said this? I'm like, look, bro, like, I'm just giving you the game. I'm giving you free game. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, people charge you for this. They got consultations for this. But yeah. I'm just giving it to you for free because I'm trying to help. Exactly. You know what I mean? But, um, Go ahead and listen to what's his name and them. Yeah. And see if you won't get fucked up in the next couple of years. Yep. And you that be contract wondering. be all tore up. Like I got, like I got it all, man. I got the contracts. I got everything: manager contracts, producer agreements. I got it all. You know what I mean? And I be telling them, like, "What are you trying to do?" Oh, I'm just trying to put this out, or I'm just trying to do this. And I'm like, "There don't be no real plan behind certain yeah, shit." Like they don't. They just they 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 want the now. That's what it is. That's yeah. the problem. Uh, today's industry, they want the now. They don't want to put in the 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 the. the Ingredients and let the joint cook over time. Mm-hmm. They 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 want the fast. They want the fast food instead of the slow burner. The slow burn in a in a crock pot. They don't want the crock pot music. They want the the fast fast food music. And absolutely, that's where a lot of times people crash out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. shit, man, you, you know. still doing your thing. You still yes. you still moving. Everything's going good, man. Um, top five artists. 
you know, top top two going to yeah, Big you know, Biggie two. and Eminem. Yeah. Um, top. Let me see. Give me three more. Uh, probably. I'm gonna go. It don't matter. Don't matter. I'm gonna go. My nigga, gifted. That's three. Um, what we going with? Damn. See, it be questions like this. You be like, damn. I'm just hey, listening to everybody yeah. in the car. Um, nigga out of Chicago, FBG Duck. Um, rest in peace. Long live Duck. I'm gonna throw Rod Wave in there, cause everybody keeps saying I sound and look like that nigga. Man, you don't look like him. And you, you got you got some some of your what well, that the road runner definitely is some some Rod, yeah. Rod Wave type. And your boy out of um he out of Michigan, he not from Detroit, but he out of Michigan. You remember BFB the oh, Pac yeah, Man from Flint, BFB the Pac Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, okay. Top five artists, top five producers. You. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I ain't nobody, man. Man, you somebody, man. I ain't nobody. Um, I ain't nobody. Tim, Timberland. Yeah. Um, Hobson. Hobson is a producer mm-hmm. as well. He produces all his own. That's Buddy with them white eyes, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he be flowing, though. Yeah. Cool. Damn, who else in it? Damn, Brug Brug gonna beat me up. What's your your man? S. Esquire. Yeah, yeah, S fire. And, S fire, uh, man. We got one more. Um yeah. producer wise. Uh oh, my nigga uh exclusive DJ Beats, who actually did the beat for Roadrunner. Okay. Wait, he from you from out here? Nah, bro, from like overseas. For real? Yeah, hell yeah. Man, that's the thing too, man. Uh over that's why I'll be trying to tell people music and math is like the two most universal things. You know what I mean? And like hearing producers from overseas, they be fire. And I be like, Oh God. Cause yeah. them niggas, they study, bro. They yeah. they see what's going on. They pick up in on the game and they see what's going on. They they know what loops and drums and yeah. piano strings and all this. They they know what's going on, and, bro. And what I noticed too is that overseas schools study us. Like outside of a language that uh, uh you know what I mean like a language that you use for French or Spanish in school, we not really studying other countries. Them other countries is studying us, so they studying us from the 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 culture, yeah. the, the music, the um, the technology. You know what I mean? Everything is they're studying. They're not only studying their culture, but they have another side where they studying. Like U.S. history and U.S. like you know what I mean technology and that's crazy to me, bro. And I think that's the smartest thing to do because yeah, we one of the the powerful, you know what I mean countries. And but it's just like these producers and artists overseas, man. And what made me think about it even more? Think about our top actors today. They from London. Buddy yeah. from um, Idris Elba. Yeah. London, um, buddy from uh, Snowfall, London, mm-hmm. Lamar from BMF, London. Um, what's a uh, buddy name from Black Panther? Not not the one that just passed away, but his boy. L- like it's a lot of them, bro. Like all of them coming from London, but they studying even our accent, bro. Like it's crazy. Even my boys that was uh, that was stationed in Oki in Japan, bro. Japan culture is hip hop. They they study us, bro, and they 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 mess with the the African Americans. You know what I mean? Absolutely. They mess with us heavy, and it's crazy because everybody is studying us, and we not focused on them, and that be the that be the downfall because they technology crazy. They mm-hmm. they had cell phones before we really had cell. They had like camera phones before we had camera phones. I believe it. Remember, camera phones ain't come out to like what, oh five oh six. Yeah. My boy was in Japan in 04 when we first got in the Marines, and he had a camera phone. I'm like, bro, what is what is that? He's like, bro, this joint fire. You gotta you gotta come over here, man. They they got all of this stuff, and I'm like, all right, man, cool. yeah. But look, before we get up out of here, bro, I always do, um, I always do gym class, gym G E M, not balling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but gym class. What's what's a gym that you can leave to the people out here that can you know they can put in their tool bag and carry with them to keep them 
pushing forward? Learn the business side of music. Learn the business side of whatever you're doing. Yeah. The business, like the real business, the paperwork. Do that shit. Learn that shit. That shit will take you further than you know. Um, Had the right people around you. Had them negative thinkers. I used to have so many negative people around me and, you know, those yes men. Mm-hmm. Get them yes men away from you. Everything you going to put out is not fire, nigga. Yeah. It got to a point where I was just, I started making dumb shit. Right. And niggas was still like, that shit hard. Yeah. You need to get the fuck from around me. Right. Because this shit ass. Yeah. So have them right people around you and um, don't listen to nobody else. If you feel like that shit going to work, push that shit. And if that shit don't work, go back and see why it ain't work. You got people that you, don't tell your ideas to nobody either. Because you mm-hmm. got them people you tell your ideas to and they'll doubt your ideas because they know this shit will work. And they'll be like, man, nah, what you need to do is, oh, fuck that. Don't take advice from motherfuckers who ain't never been through shit. Right. You got motherfuckers trying to give advice on shit that they never been through, never never did, right. never seen, never did, never just ain't did shit. And they going off of what they saw. As, especially with music. Yeah. Man, I just got this deal, bro. What you think? Man, don't sign that shit. You know, bro, and them got a 360. You know, they fucked up right now. So what? Yeah. Nigga, I don't... The thing tweets, I don't even think motherfuckers know what a 360 deal is yeah. or what it consists of for real. They just see that on TV, oh, so such and such got fucked over because of a 360 deal. Mm-hmm. But they don't even know what goes into it. Right. So, yeah, like I said, have the right people around you. Learn the business side or whatever you got going on. Um... Get them yes men from around you like like we talked about. If you got to travel alone, travel alone. That's just what it is. It's just That's just what it's going to be, you know. Get them niggas from around just trying to leech off you and shit like that. Man, you didn't drop some gems. Some gems. I'm glad you dropped them, though, man, because it's definitely needed to be said. Um, you definitely got to keep them yes men away from you. Keep them negative people away from you. You know me, bro. I'm all about positive energy. If that energy yeah. off, I ain't about to be around you. I'm in the cut. Like, I'm not dealing with it. You and, know what's going on, And learning on, man. the business, man. Learning. Like, that's the thing. I'm, as long as I've been doing this music, I'm still learning. And I'm okay with that. I like to learn. You know what I mean? I want to learn because I want to be able to be educated when I do do certain things. It's like, all right, I know exactly what this is. And if I don't, hey, what's this? Why is that? You know what I mean? Yeah, ask questions, man. Ask questions, that man. Ain't about I, yeah, ask questions. Because even if you ask a question and you feel like they're going to stare the other way, guess what? That means it wasn't for you in the first place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what a lot of these niggas do. You ask questions, they be like, well, you know, you don't really need to know that right now, but, yeah. you know, stay away from yeah, them niggas, yeah, too. We, we, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Nah, bro. Because you, you backdoor me. You trying to show hey old tiny me. With uh, exactly. The you know what I'm saying? But uh, before we get out of here, man, I want to shout out to my bro, Big John. Big Rare Love, Mitten Love. Hey. Got got the got the merch on, man. Um, hey, man, you know. Hey, YC over here. Hey, you man. know what I mean? Got the merch on. Got the book. merch line dropping soon, man. Yeah. Rare Love. RareLoveFam.com. Make sure y'all go there. Get y'all merch and use the code RWMTMLOVE and you'll get your percentages off on anything on the platform. But um, I'm Tweez. We got YC. Yes, sir. And uh, this is Relationships Worth More Than Money. Gang. I'm talking relationships worth more than money. No time for the fig or the phony.